When you are fishing for catfish, it doesn't matter whether you are fishing from the bank or from a boat, you gotta have bait. For most catfish anglers, some sort of meat is the preferred bait. While a few people pursue flathead catfish on crankbaits and others will pursue channel catfish and bullheads on rooster tails in shallow rivers, most serious catfish anglers are looking for something that swims, is alive or was alive, as their preferred catfish bait. Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn, and in this video, we're gonna go over the three catfish baits that need to be your top choices the next time you go chasing catfish. Now, the first bait I'm gonna go over is probably one of the premier baits for catching catfish anywhere in the country. It's probably in the top three of catfish baits for any serious tournament angler that is looking to catch big fish and for guides that are looking to catch a lot of fish. But sadly, it's one of the harder baits to come by for a beginning angler. Now the good news is, I'm gonna go over some other baits later in the video, so stay tuned, that are a lot easier to catch. But for now, let's talk about this one. Now the bait I'm talking about is no secret, it's gizzard chad. Gizzard Chad is one of the preferred baits anywhere you go in the country for any type of fisherman from beginner to advanced. Now, there are some baits in some parts of the country uh, that may be better than Gizzard Chad. If you hit the Tennessee River, Skipjack may be a preferred bait. But next to Skipjack, I guarantee you that most anglers there are going to want to be using Gizzard Chad as their second choice. Now, gizzard shad are schooling fish that can be anywhere from as big as your finger all the way up to 12 or 14 inches. Generally speaking, uh, most of the fish that you will be catching and that you will be netting are going to be in that six to nine inch range. The bigger ones, generally speaking, are a little more solitary and not in large schools like the smaller ones. Now, the downside to using these baits is that you have to catch them in a cast net. You have to be able to throw a cast net. And for some people, especially beginners, that can be challenging and intimidating, especially if you are fishing from the bank. It can be hard to catch gizzard chad sometimes if they are not up near the bank. So this is one of the downsides and one of the things that is a drawback to trying to use these baits. Now the good news is in some areas you can buy gizzard shad. There are bait dealers that will sell this and that is an excellent option, especially if you're new to fishing, new to chasing catfish and maybe a little bit intimidated about throwing a cast net. Another option is that a lot of places will sell frozen gizzard shad. Now, gizzard shad tend to get a little mushy when they're frozen. So keep that in mind. They are not the perfect bait uh, frozen, however, if you got a choice between going fishing with no bait and going fishing and taking frozen gizzard shad, take the frozen gizzard shad. The bottom line is if you can get your hands on fresh gizzard shad wherever you are fishing in the country, you can go fishing knowing you've got good bait to fish with. Now the number two bait is a lot easier to catch. It's widespread and pretty much any angler can figure out how to catch these little suckers early on. The other good news is you don't have to know how to throw a cast net to catch them. Uh, and as a matter of fact, in most places, it's illegal to use a cast net uh, to catch these fish. What are these magical fish called? They're called bluegill. Now, when I say bluegill, I mean any member of the sunfish family. Uh, they're also commonly called brim. These fish frequent the shallower waters of almost any lake, river, or pond in the U.S. They can be caught on rod and reel very easily, even for the most inexperienced angler, using a bobber, red worms, or crickets as bait. For many people, like myself, these are probably the first fish that you ever learned to catch. Now, before using these fish, make sure you check your local laws because they vary by state. In a lot of places, it is illegal to use bluegill and other sunfish as catfish bait, because they are considered game fish. So it varies state by state. There is no rule nationwide. So make sure you check your laws so you don't get in any trouble. Now, bluegill or brim will catch any catfish out there, whether that be channel catfish, blue catfish, flathead catfish, bullheads. All catfish love to eat and feed on bluegill. You can fish them live underneath a bobber or 
live on the Carolina rig along the bottom. Or you can do like I do most of the time, and that's using them as cut bait. Typically, I will fillet a side off of them. Uh, depending on the size of the bluegill, I may cut that fillet in half to get two baits per side. And then use the head. The head is the best part. That is the sweet meat, in my opinion, when it comes to bluegill bait. As for the tail, I don't use them. Some people do, but because I drift and troll a lot and drag baits, the tail can almost act like a little rudder and kind of flutter and twist and turn. And I've just found that I prefer not to use the tails on any bait fish. Now bluegill are hardy baits and they can be kept alive in a bait tank or even a small bait cooler with a bubbler. Uh, just make sure that you cycle the water out on it to keep fresh water on them and make sure that you give them plenty of oxygen. Now, you can't pack them too tight. A good general rule is about two per gallon, depending on their size. But depending on how you store your bait and what you keep your bait in, you can kind of figure that out for yourself. Now, bluegill is one of my favorite spring and summertime baits, especially once water temperatures get above 65 degrees. And I will use them all summer long as long as I can catch them. Uh, if I had a choice between bluegill and gizzard shad in the summertime and the warmer months, I'll be honest with you, I would go with bluegill. That's me personally, but I've had very good luck catching some great fish and even winning some tournaments using bluegill. Now, last but definitely not least is one that continues to surprise people and it continues to amaze people that I do videos with it and that I fish with it. You don't need a cast net, you don't need a fishing rod, uh, you don't need a live well to keep it. Uh, as a matter of fact, you're not going to find it anywhere near the water. Now, what is this super awesome secret bait that's easy to get and not hard to catch and it's readily available to everyone? Well, it's no secret. It's chicken and more specifically, chicken breast. Yes, chicken. I too was skeptical when one of my mentors and a local fishing icon, Mac Byram, started using it over a decade ago on Lake Norman in North Carolina. Now, Mac's secret formula became known as CBMIGP, which stands for chicken breast marinated in garlic powder. Now, while it sounds like the start of an Italian dish that you would cook at home, it's something that Matt came up with years ago, and he has caught thousands of catfish on it, including some that anyone would be proud to pull over the side of the boat. Now, in all of my testing that I did using chicken, I eliminated the garlic powder and just used small cut pieces of chicken. Now, all of the pieces that I used were from chicken breasts. One, because they're fairly thick, uh, readily available. Usually, my wife has some in the refrigerator that I can steal, and I just cut them into small chunks. Probably one of the most amazing things about using chicken breasts as catfish bait, and I've done several videos on this that you can check out here on my channel, is that the chicken caught just as many fish as the cut baits that I was using. And I found this really amazing, but the good news is that means that if you're going fishing and you're new to fishing, new to catching catfish, you can rest assured that this bait will put fish in the boat. Now, was chicken something I would rely on if I was going just to pursue trophy fish or fishing a tournament that I was trying to win? Probably not, but if you're just going out to catch fish, you don't have time to catch bait, or say you get up one morning and say, I want to go fishing, you don't have to use I don't have bait as an excuse anymore for not going, because for most people, grabbing a fresh chicken breast is very easy to do. Now, one thing I will remind you of when using chicken, and you need to be very careful about this, is salmonella. Chicken breast, any raw chicken can have salmonella, and it's easy to contaminate uh, yourself with it. So make sure that you are not cutting up chicken breast and handling it and then picking up a deviled egg or something or eating, you know, some peanuts out of a bag. Uh, you don't want to contaminate yourself with that because it's a nasty, nasty thing to have. So make sure you're wiping stuff down, keeping everything clean and treating it just like you would raw chicken in the kitchen. 
Well, folks, hopefully this gives you some good ideas on some catfish baits that you can go out with confidence and catch some catfish this year. Don't let getting bait intimidate you and keep you from going fishing. I've given you a really good one and a couple of easy ones that are relatively easy to get. So get out there, load up your bait box, and go catch some catfish. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing, and here are a couple of more videos that I think you're going to like.